Hi guys, it's Lucera and today we're going to be talking about planning. Um, it's pretty ironic that somebody like me is making this video because I don't like planning. I don't like using my organizer, but it's useful and I figured I would make a video for all the other people out there who don't like planning. Um, so this video will be kind of the opposite of a glam planning video. Um, I don't mind those videos. I think they're really helpful for a certain kind of people. Um, but I don't like using stickers or color coordinated tabs or labels or having a planner that's super duper involved because the more work and effort that I have to put into it, the higher my standards become and then if I can't keep my planner perfect 100% of the time, I don't even want to try. And it's a horrible mentality to have, but I recognize it and I find other ways to kind of get around that. Okay, so I'm going to show you three different methods for planning. The first one is listing. Um, so this is where you simply write down all the things and all the tasks that you want to accomplish for the day. And one of my favorite things to do with these lists is, is add really, really easy tasks to accomplish. So usually I'll write like get up um, or brush my teeth. Um, and that kind of helps me get started with the list and feel motivated to actually follow through. So that's what I use my first planner for. It's kind of ironic that I have two planners because as I've just mentioned, I don't like using planners. Um, but the first one that I bought, um, which is the daily planner that you'll see in a minute, um, I bought for school from Target. But the one that I just showed you in my first example was actually from Rifle Paper Company and it was really cute and I had a coupon so I bought it. So I have two now. Um, but I use my bigger planner, um, the Daily Organizer one, for hourly planning. So the first one was a lot better if you just have a list of tasks that you want to do that are not necessarily time sensitive. However, if you're like me and you're a college student or you have work or anything else that's time sensitive, I like being able to plan my day hour by hour. For me, this usually involves just writing down my classes, but sometimes it'll also involve um, dedicating specific times to uh, study or eat. Honestly, I have to plan eating sometimes because if not, I'll just forget and so on and so forth. And I really like doing hourly because it helps me visualize my day and it's really easy for me to see how my day is divided up um, and then of course it's easy for me to stick to it if I can see where I need to be when I need to be there and so on and so forth and so the third method that I have is actually digital and it's basically the equivalent of the hourly that I just showed you where it is online using Google Calendar however you can use any calendar application that you like. I just happen to use Google Calendar because it's most convenient for me, but it is basically identical to my hourly planner except I usually have my phone in my hand and it's a lot easier for me to access and you can also set really important events to give you reminders. And digital planning might be the best option for you because pretty much everybody uh, who has a smartphone is usually attached to it and I don't think that's a bad thing. I love technology. Um, and so for me, I definitely find that even though I usually use two of these methods at least, um, the digital one is the uh, form that I turn to the most because it is always there with me. But yeah, so quick video, just I thought I'd um, share with you a minimalist way of organizing your life. I hope it was helpful and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Love you, bye. If you don't know how to manage your time and you don't learn quickly, you will have a very hard time